Hey guys, so I got these weird shaped windows and um, these arches. <sighs> They're super hard to get something that fits in there. And it's, a, it's kind of it's a weird shape too. So at the sides from the center, it's to the center, it's like 34 and a half inches. And then from the center to the top is like 33 and a half. So it's got this weird kind of slope to it. And then in the middle of, of the, about a quarter of the way up, it's at like 34 or something. So it's not a really, it's not like 34 all, and a half all the way up. It's just kind of a flattened arch thing. So it was really difficult to find something to go in there. So in fact, I couldn't really find anything. All the things I was looking at was like just kind of hard to order or whatever. So I just, I made this one out of cardboard and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Okay, so this was kind of a lengthy process. Pretty much, I used I used a screwdriver to punch the holes. I used this to go through, grab the string, and pull it through the hole. I used a lot of tape on the on the edges here. So I pretty much just reinforced the corners here so it wouldn't tear so i wrap basically on the on the ends i wrap tape kind of lengthwise and then vertically just kind of did a wrap around there so this this part would be strong and it wouldn't be too uh, weak or whatever so i went with if i would have do this over again it looks kind of cool with the more fins but i would have probably just made bigger fins and it would have made this uh, thinner and a lot easier to work with so Keep that in mind, this is like completely customizable, however you guys want it. Uh, but if I were to do it again, I would make these, each triangle probably, um, probably about three of these. So I wouldn't have, I would only deal, you know, the thickness here would only be like that. So this is just a bolt. It's like a three inch bolt. I put washers on each end to hold the cardboard from ripping and then just a nut here on the end. And then after, so basically what I did is I cut these, these strips in, um, it was about, oh, probably eight, no, probably about 10 inch um, wide and however long the cardboard was, I measured it. And then I cut them into halves and then I used, I used the uh, razor blade, you know, box cutter and uh, just a level so I put it on there I basically rolled a level over twice that gave me the, the width of the, the thing that I wanted I just cut that so it was this uh, in a rectangle and then, and then I cut the rectangle um, from corner to corner to give me the triangle shaped pieces that I needed so that's where that is and then I cut them at um, then I measured kind of like the distance from the far ends are longer. So like I said, from here to here, at the, up, up at the window, it's about 35. And then it's about 34 and a half. And then at the top, about 33 and a half. So I kind of, each one is about every third or fourth one is about a half inch off or whatever. And I had to go up there and measure to see how my distances was. Another thing I wanted was, um, I kind of want this to be able to just pull together. So, um, let's see if I can give you a shot of what I was thinking about. Um, so I wanted it to be able to like, um, kind of collapse and possibly I'll make it so I can pull a string and get it to come together. So I was thinking, I do collapse down, so like that, right? Um, and then also they can uh, come up here too so it pulls I have a string on there so when it pulls up they all come out like that so it's nice like a, a fan looking thing so I need to adjust the string a little bit on here I'm just going to show you how I put the string through there and it's the same thing on the other edge here I wanted it to wear kind of pull the string and so just flare out like a nice, like a fan or whatever. So, I, 
thought that, that would be cool. And so I'm gonna show you how I put the string in there so it's kind of uh, hidden. So I have to adjust this anyway, so I'm just gonna show you guys. So the first one right here, So you can see I have space right here, and this is not really that much of a space there. Um, and then I just kind of painted with some white paint to kind of look, give it a distressed looking look at, to it. There. Okay, so with these, I just started the hole at the top and I tied this string in there. This string wants to come undone all the time. So make sure your knot's good in there. So I punched a hole with the screwdriver, just punched a hole in there, and then I uh, tied, got my string through there and knotted it. And then after that, each one, I just made a loop. So I pulled, I pulled the string through, or basically it was, the string's underneath. It's underneath the, I reached through the hole, grabbed a part of the string, like that, pulled it up through there. So you had a loop like this, and then I fed the uh, string through that loop and it just continued on. So these can be adjusted too. So if I have a gap like this, all right, too much of a gap here, I can just pull this in a little bit. Hopefully, let's see here. So I don't want it to be, this is fine here, but this one right here, I want it to come in a little bit. So give it, so this can be adjusted, just pull up on the string and then pull tight. And that way when this pulls, it'll make it so it overlaps a little bit and you'll see that part. So hopefully you can just continue down the line, adjusting that. Pull that one tight, like that. And then when you pull, it's gonna give us a nice overlap there. So. Same thing with this one. All right, so this is where my hang up was. Had to leave. Last. I had to tie this string together because it was broken. I'm going to have to go through all this. But that's kind of what I was doing. There's actually a big knot right here. Because kind of like this right here, there's too much of a gap, so I'm gonna, I want to adjust that so it's not like that. But I have that hole in the back. But that's kind of how I got it. So if these were more a stronger material, I could theoretically, like at the top of the window, just put like a, a loop, right? And then I can loop this through there. And when I pull this string, all the things just go up like that. And if it's um, looser in the center here, that'll be, it'll just come down. The gravity would kind of hold it down. And then it would be kind of an adjustable, um, an adjustable uh, shade there. So I'm gonna um, work on that, maybe get a working, model going here or whatever so that is that part and i'm just going to adjust this so i get all these the same length but that's what i use to get pull the string through and stuff like that and basically you just you put the string the hole right here at the end and the string goes through on the back side the other side and so when you have it up there you don't see any strings at all it's kind of cool so i like how this just kind of holds in on it like this. Let's see. Up. Uh, okay, so like that. And then it should just when you pull your string. That just fans out like a nice uh, like a nice fan there. So alright, let's uh, get this all finished up here and we'll put it up in the window. Okay, so let's go put the shade up there. So I basically 
just pull it up like a little fan. And we're going to carry this thing up. I think it looks not half bad. Definitely blocks out the light. And I just kind of painted this a little bit, kind of like a distressed kind of look to it. And I think it looks pretty cool, actually. Our couch is gonna be kind of splotchy too. Um, if you used, I use like a Costco box, basically, but if you have a stiff cardboard, it would be good. Um, smaller or bigger cuts on the triangles would make it a lot easier project for sure. Um, and might even be able to just put a little like an eyelet loop up at the top where you could just pull the string and it would raise your um, raise and lower the uh, the slats or whatever. So that's what it looks like. Um, if you guys got any questions or comments, leave them in the description below. This is like the best thing I could figure out how to put up there other than like, I don't know, a lot, it seems like a lot of stuff online wasn't really that user friendly. 
And I was like, well, what can I do to just kind of put something up here that's going to block the sunlight? So that's what I came up with. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.